In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to take off and land on very short mountain airstrips with tall trees nearby. It's very important to use the flaps during short takeoffs and landings. Flaps serve two purposes. They generate more lift and they cause drag, which slows the plane down. Before taking off, you should extend the flaps one notch by pressing the F7 key. If you want to watch how the flaps change the look of your wing, you can switch to spot view by pressing the F11 key. Press F9 to return to virtual cockpit view. To start the engine, press Control E. Try to take off when you reach 55 knots and climb out at 60 knots, which will give you the best angle of climb in this aircraft. Great takeoff! Now that you're in the air, retract the flaps by pressing the F6 key. Your landing spot will be the lower loon airstrip to the south of your present position. It's very short and surrounded by hills, so it will be difficult to land on if you approach the runway from the wrong direction. Pull back now to lift off. The best route to the lower loon is to follow the river valley rather than flying straight over the hills. This will allow for a shallower approach for landing. You can follow the waypoint markers if you want. We're about halfway to Lower Loon. This might be a good time to go over some bush flying tips. 
In real bush flying, you should always overfly the runway before landing to check the runway condition and to look for obstacles which could contribute to an unsafe landing. Even in flight simulator, it's a good idea to inspect the landing site before committing. Many of the mountain strips in this area are one-way-in, one-way-out approaches, and you only get one chance at the landing with no possibility of a go-around. If you need to turn around within the confines of a valley or a canyon, you can perform a canyon turn by slowing the aircraft down and dropping the flaps. With this technique, you can minimize your turn radius as long as you keep the power up and stay above stall speed. As you approach lower loom, start slowing down early in preparation to land or to execute a canyon turn if you need to turn around. Now that you're getting close to the airport, maintain 55 knots and fully extend the flaps by pressing the F8 key. Remember to increase power to compensate for the increased drag, or you might stall. When approaching at more than 60 knots, you might not be able to stop before you reach the trees at the end of the runway. Go around and try it again.
great landing.